Ever since he was injured back in October, Dak has been working hard to get back in business. And now with week one only a few days away, it's looking like Dak is back. Oh, stays afloat, looks downfield, fires deep downfield. Going into 2020, Dak was coming off a season with nearly 5,000 passing yards and 30 touchdowns, and the Cowboys were looking to repeat their success after making the divisional round that year. With most of the gang back outside of Jason Garrett, the team was looking dangerous with the mastermind in Mike McCarthy taking the head spot. Upon that, the team drafted a star wideout from Oklahoma in CeeDee Lamb to add some depth to the offense, so the Cowboys were bound for success, right? Well, the season started off a bit rough for Dallas as they went 1-3 in their first four games, with their only win coming off of this. Zerline will score, it's got to go 10 yards, and it's close! The Cowboys have it! Do you believe that? Nonetheless, the Cowboys weren't looking like themselves and needed to get back on track before it was too late. Well, Prescott breaks the tackle. He picks up a total of nine more. Oh no! Oh no! Seems like the Cowboys were in for a rough 2020 season, as not only was their defense playing awful, but their quarterback was done after only four and a half games. With Dak out for the rest of the year, it was on Andy Dalton to lead the team to success, and he did okay. The Cowboys finished the year at 6-10, and, and the third best team in the worst division in football. A bit of a downer after making the divisional the previous year, but it goes to show just how key Dak was to the success of the team. Anyways, the Cowboys missed the playoffs and as a whole just had a disappointing year. So now what? Well, Dak signed a four-year contract extension with the team worth $160 million, including not only $126 million guaranteed, but the biggest signing bonus in NFL history at $66 mil. So not too shabby. Needless to say, the Cowboys believe in Dak, so now it's up to him to decide what's next for his time in Dallas. When Dak played in 2020, he had nearly 1,900 yards and 9 touchdowns in only 4.5 games, which is pretty wild, and if he would have kept at that track, he could have passed for over 6,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. Some, including myself, would say those are MVP numbers, but it's important to paint the picture before you sell it. The reason why Dak passed for so many yards was because of the awful play on the defensive side leading to a constant need to put up stats to stay in games. Think of it like when Mahomes put up those crazy stats in 2018 but less productive and with much less success than the Mahomi. Anyways, following the injury, Dak has used this offseason to try and get back to his best and try to be even better than he was the previous year. It's far from easy to get back from something as serious as an ankle injury, but Dak is a workaholic and that fire within him will keep him working relentlessly to be himself once again. With many players, this sidetrack could take up a great deal of time, but Dak is looking to prove why he got such a large contract soon, so I'm pretty sure he wants to get back on the field as quick as possible. Although a great mindset to have, as I mentioned before, the process to heal such an injury is by no means a joke, and so it will take all the way up until the season for him to be truly 100%, if even. I mean, you gotta think that initially, Zach had to be in crutches, then went through countless therapy for him to even do minor exercises like squats. Compare a squat to getting run over by a 400 pound defensive lineman. It's night and day, so Dak had a long way to go from the start of this process. The whole thing is frustrating for anyone to go through, but enhanced for someone as motivated to play as Dak. It's like craving a food and then having it dangled in front of your face for months and months. So to deal with that every single day must be extremely difficult for him. Having that constant desire to get back to 100% is frustrating, but also fuels the fire to get there quicker. By trying to work that much harder to get back as soon as possible, Dak was able to speed up the process and at least get some reps where he could. As one of the hardest workers in the NFL, keeping Dak away from his passion is tough to do. So although the ankle injury has harbored him for half a year, I'm sure he's getting as much practice in as he can, wherever he's able to do. A few months ago, Dak even said that he was close, and that he could even play a game and be very successful, just showing that kind of unique drive within him that has gotten him to the point where he is today. You just get that feeling that Dak is trying to speak this stuff into existence, and is just working to have his mind and body be on the same page as quick as possible. Before we talk some more about what's up with Dak, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more stuff like this, and turn on noties in order to stay tuned. Anyways, back to the video. Well, it's pretty much September, and we've seen a bit of what Dak can bring to the table off of injury, and it's interesting to say the least. From reports, Dak's throws were looking unstable, and although he's able to toss the ball 50 yards, it just wasn't consistent. While running a two-minute offense, Prescott seemed erratic as guys like Jordan Lewis, Trayvon Diggs, and Keanu Neal broke up passes. 
Although a bit worrisome, Prescott was able to stay loose in between throwing the rock and it looked natural. Based off his performance in camp, which is pretty recent, there are now questions about how well Dak will play and not just if he will in the first place. Although seemingly a rough outing, it was some of Dak's first game speed football since late October, and so it makes sense why he's a bit rusty. Not a crazy problem, instead it's something that you expect from someone who has been rehabbing for nearly an entire year. Upon that, Dak is not only dealing with the whole ankle fiasco, but in late July he had a shoulder strain that has likely played a part in his inconsistent play in practice. Nonetheless, it's not like he was really that bad, and he was able to connect with Malik Turner on nearly a 50-yard go ball and his man Gallup on a 25-yarder, among a bunch of other throws. From what's been seen, the passes are some of his longest and strongest since the shoulder injury. See, even though he's made some oopsies, it's looking like he's on the right track. If you've watched the recent Hard Knocks episodes, the Cowboys have been limiting Dak's snaps, and he seems pretty pissed off by it, even to the point where he says, I'll let you know if something's bothering me. The frustration makes sense, but it's all for Dak's own good that they limit his snaps to prevent strain. McCarthy is aware of this frustration, and even said he's a caged lion, a competitor. Trying to keep a lion in a cage is not easy, and Dak is built different, so to keep him from putting his all out on the football field only works for so long. We've seen and heard what Dak is looking like going into the season. So now the question is, what can he do? Thankfully for Dak, his head coach believes in him, as he thinks they have the right quarterback, and upon that, the team has rallied behind the Mississippi star time and time again. So with the team behind him and back from injury, everything is set for Dak to be back in business. Not only does he have a stacked receiving core, but also a top 5 running back by his side and a bunch of new additions on the defensive side. Just a few months ago, the Cowboys got what potentially looks to be a Hall of Fame talent in Micah Parsons, and numerous other studs not only through the draft, but also a free agency to help the Cowboys unit. If everything works out with all these guys, the new pieces could take Dallas from the bottom of the barrel to at least an average defense. Let's just say that the defense does decent, and Dak is healthy going into the year. What's next? If we look back to 2019, Dak was able to pass for nearly 5,000 yards, and the team went 8-8. Eight and eight. Not bad, right? Right. And I think that's reasonable to expect out of a team like Dallas, with not only the new additions, but their quarterback back, and in the worst division in football. Will Dak throw for 5,000 yards? I doubt it if the defense plays anything above awful. Instead, I think he'll pass like he did before 2019 with around 37, 3,800 yards and somewhere around 30 touchdowns in 2021. With all this in mind, what do you guys think that Dak and the Cowboys are going to do this year? Comment down below your opinion and why. Anyways, Dak Prescott was on the fast track to NFL royalty before 2020. And although a certain injury got in the way of his success, my man is a lion and won't let anything get in his way from achieving greatness. Fake to Elliott and they go deep downfield and getting open and making the catch at the 25 yard line and taking it all the way. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment down below stuff you want next. Anyway, see you all soon and peace out.